I'm standing in front of the west window at Bradford Cathedral. In this window, there are many women from the biblical story. And indeed, it is a mark of this cathedral that there are so many women recalled in the stained glass windows of this place. At this moment in our national life, our hearts and our prayers are going out to the family and partner and friends of Sarah Everard. A prayer for them. Most merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, surround the family of Sarah Everard with your love, that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss. May they find the strength to meet the days to come, and your light to guide them in their darkness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Sarah's tragic death is part of a wider picture of violence towards women in our society. A violence that has to be addressed. The Archbishop of Canterbury called this out when he recently spoke of the profound impact of the sin of male violence, intimidation, harassment, sexism and abuse carried out against women. And so we pray. God of healing and transformation, we pray for our society in these days of reckoning. Have mercy upon us, living God. Grant us a humble, repentant heart to recognise the change that is needed within ourselves. Grant us the vision and the will to make the change. Grant us the safety that we need to be co-creators of a better world. In your name and for your glory. Amen.